In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest competitor in the AI art scene, Leonardo AI. At the moment, Leonardo AI still requires early access, but in this video, I will show you all the necessary steps to get exclusive early access in 24 hours and walk you through all the basic functionalities that it provides. So let's get started. Unlike many AI tools on the market that focus on portrait pictures, Leonardo AI looks like initially was created with a focus on creating images of game assets, such as helmets, buildings, concept arts, and environments for video games. Of course, you can create portraits or any other kind of art. To get early access, you need to go to the Leonardo AI website and put in your email and click count me in. You will then receive an email with a link to the Discord server. Make sure to have a Discord account ready. When you log in, you will see a bunch of channels and the channel you need to go to is Priority Early Access. Then click on the Google Doc in this channel and you will need to provide your information to be on the whitelist. It will take up to a day for them to approve your application and you will receive an email when your email has been whitelisted. When you receive the email that you have been approved, go back to the Leonardo AI website and click Launch App. They will ask for the email that you provided in the Google form. When you do that, you will be taken to the Leonardo AI app where you can see all the functionalities that they have available. There is a lot to cover, so I will make separate videos for specific things. But for today, I will go over the basic functionalities. The first section is the community feed where you can see all the creations generated by the community. If you want to look for a specific style, you can search the gallery. For example, if you like pixel art, you can search pixel art to see all the designs of that style. You can also see the ones that have been upscaled, which are generally of higher quality. The next section is the personal feed, which shows you all the images that you have generated yourself. If you like a specific picture, click the heart and it will show up in your liked feed. You can also follow your favorite artists and their generations will show up in your followers feed. The next section is training and data sets. But first go over fine-tuned models in order to better comprehend the training and data sets later. Fine-tuned models provides many designs and styles that you can use, like vintage style or characters. However, if there is a certain style that you have in mind and you don't find it in the platform models, you can create it yourself. This brings me to the next section, which is the training and data sets. Here, you can use a certain number of pictures to create a brand new model. All you need to do is click New Data Set and then Create Data Set. Examples of data sets that people have created can be found in fine-tuned models in the community models. Now let's talk about some of the basic functionalities of the AI Canvas. The Canvas allows you to generate AI-assisted designs using a range of tools and techniques. One of the key features of the Canvas is the ability to generate designs based on prompts. For example, you can input a prompt like pixelated montane with a blue sky background, and the AI will generate a design that fits that description. You can also use the canvas to generate designs based on existing images or sketches. Now let's break down the most useful tool, the AI image generation. Just like other AI tools, Leonardo AI allows you to create one to four images. However, you can also generate up to eight images at a time, and the current version of the tool allows you to generate up to 250 pictures a day. Each picture costs one token and you get 250 tokens, which refresh every day. You can also choose from four image dimensions and select your dimension yourself. Additionally, you have the option to adjust the level of prompt guidance and the step count, which determines how detailed you want your image to be. One interesting option you can use is tiling, which allows you to create repeated textures. Then you can also use image to image generation by uploading an existing image and working with it. If you ever get stuck or aren't happy with your results, there's a handy reset button at the bottom of the screen that allows you to go back to the default settings. You can choose from any of the community models or your own generated models, which will show up in the drop-down menu while typing your prompt. For example, I want to generate an anime girl with blue hair and blue eyes. And to leverage the prompt, use the model Anime Girls 1.0 made by a community member. And there you have it an anime girl with blue hair and blue eyes using the model I just mentioned. Leonardo AI has many cool features, and in future videos, I'll dive deeper into individual sections. Subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos, but in the meantime, check out this video where I talk about AI tools you need to know before everyone else.